How to Adult, Profession Edition, Episode 3, Finding a Mentor and Networking. Oh, hello business associate. You know, the best way to turn a job into a successful career is to find yourself a mentor and get to know other people in the industry. After all, it's not what you know, it's who you know. At least that's what my friend Mark Zuckerberg told me. Different Mark Zuckerberg. He um, runs a landscaping business, Zucks Gardens, it's very good. Tip one, figure out who you want to connect with. Social media sites like LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter can help you find others in your line of work who you might want to connect with. There's also events you can go to specifically for networking, which you can find on sites like meetup.com. You might be more comfortable meeting people there because everyone's in the same boat, particularly at the young sailing enthusiasts annual get together. <laughs> The networks you connect with might be based on your industry, location, or just an area of work that you want to know more about. I tapped into the super awesome presenter and or TV hosts network and it uh, <laughs> worked really well for me. It was mutually beneficial, obviously I had heaps to contribute. So. Tip two, list your career crushes. Similar to your teen crushes, Tay, Bay and Billy Ray were mine. But instead of banging bods, your career crushes have banging jobs. Think about where you see your career taking you in five or ten years' time and work out what steps you need to take to get there. Talk to people who are a few steps ahead of you and find out how they got to where they are. You might find them a bit more approachable and with a fresher insight than those at the golden god level of your field. In my case, we're talking Ellen DeGeneres, so I might start with the more achievable Karl Stefanovic. Tip three, be clear about what you want. Once you know who you want to talk to, get in touch and offer to buy them a coffee. But it's important to be clear about what it is that you want. Are you after a formal mentorship with regular check-ins? Or maybe just some one-off advice? The clearer you are, the better help they can be and the less chance you'll end up wasting each other's time. Oh. Hey, Carl. Yeah, no, no, I was just uh, hoping you'd be my mentor, if that's fine with you. I mean, I'd also accept adoptive father, if that works better. Uh, very flexible. So. Hello? Carl? Tip four, always say thanks. You'll probably find that most people are happy to share their expertise, but it's still nice to say thank you. Follow up with an email or a card to show your gratitude. Be genuine and let them know what you got from the experience. Dear Carl, thank you so much 